Hello, my name is Julie Heath. I am the museum liaison for TrueView. TrueView is the manufacturer of Optium Acrylic Glazing. Optium Acrylic Glazing is an anti-reflective glazing that minimizes the mirror-like reflection that one often sees in regular glass or acrylic. We rely on feedback from museums and from the framers who work closely with museums. So sometimes we have them visit us here in our TrueView facility. Today we have Vincent Eustack from Bark Frameworks, an eminent framer in New York City, visiting us. And uh, we look forward to gaining his feedback. Hi, I'm Vincent Eustack, and I'm the purchasing agent and materials engineer at Bark Frameworks in New York City. At Bark, we've been picture framing for over 40 years now. And we like to follow the strictest requirements in materials and in practices. That helps us make sure that what we do will never do any harm to the art and protect the art that we frame. Our clients demand the best, and so do we. And that's led us to our longstanding relationship with TrueView and the TrueView product line. I'm here in Faribault, Minnesota today in order to see the conversion of Optium Museum Acrylic. Going forward, this will help me understand how we are keeping our clients and their art at the forefront of what we do at Bark. So, Julie. Uh, a big concern at Bark Frameworks is that we frame a lot of works of art that are works on paper that in can include pastels and charcoal. And we've been even done some works recently where styrofoam has been involved in the art that we framed. So a lot of questions are coming our way. Is the static of the plexi glazing that we use going to hurt the work of art? Is it going to pick any of this, these particles up actually off the work of art, which basically is destroying the art in some ways? Right. So um, I've heard that Optium Acrylic you know, has solved this problem. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's correct. With a normal acrylic glazing, which is often referred to as plexi or perspex, depending on which country you live in, uh, a common complaint is that it's, it has too much static, so it will attract uh, both particulate from the artwork and, and dust from the atmosphere. Uh, this, is a, this is a property we tried to address with Optium and we think we've done a pretty good job of, of making it into an anti-static glazing option. Mm -hmm. And what this is one of the best examples we have where this is regular acrylic on this side and this is Optium on this side. And you can see perhaps that the yeah gold leaf is stuck to I the mean, acrylic side. It's stuck right to the face of it. And uh, it's not stuck to the optium. Right. So, um, so let me try this with this cloth here. Um. So what you're seeing is, is a static buildup. And what makes optium special is that the dissipation is so quick that you get an anti-static effect, whereas you can see how taut the, the gold leaf is now on the regular acrylic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the coatings are bonded at an atomic level, they're permanent. They will not age any quicker than the substrate, so this is a product that will last many decades. Mm -hmm. It's not a temporary coating, it's not a temporary fix, it's a permanent part of, of this material. Yeah, and it's not oily or anything like that. Sometimes that you no, get with unlike a, a spray-on anti-static temporary, right, right? You get a you get a temporary it's fix. Definitely much nicer. My next question would be, how does Optium acrylic stand up to scratches? Because we have a lot of clients that say um, regular acrylic will scratch really easily if they have it in their home. You know, right? Things happen. Mm -hmm. And acrylic is a soft substrate, so if you take a key to it, it will scratch. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a, a glazing option that isn't glass that will stand up to the abrasions that come with cleaning, so you don't get those horrible, hazy cleaning circles. Right, and I right. will let you test this out yourself. Oh. This is one of our sample kits, and our sample kits always come with this envelope that has some steel wool in it. It's mm -hmm. very fine steel wool. But we have three panes here. We have regular acrylic, we have a laminated glass product, and we have Optium. And I will let you go ahead and scratch all three okay. just to see the, the difference. So 
So now that I've really gone at this uh, acrylic, you can see a, a lot of scratches there. Um, I mean, I, I, I can just do that and I see brand new scratches. Um, the glass, I don't see any scratches. And the Optium, I also don't see any scratches um, at all. Good. That's what we're hoping for with these uh, cleaning abrasions that can happen. We want to stand up to the same abrasion resistance that glass has. Mm -hmm. So, Julie, my last question is about UV filtering technology. Mm -hmm. Now, in conservation framing, we like to make sure that we never let UV light touch art because it can cause fading very quickly. And, for example, having something in the sun or under the wrong lighting um, is just bad for the art. Right, mm -hmm. right. So high light exposure will cause fading in art. Um, so we advise our customers to keep their artwork out of direct sunlight. And one of the best things you can do for blocking UV radiation is use a UV blocking glazing. Mm -hmm. Now, almost all the high-end glass and acrylic glazing out there will block some amount of, of ultraviolet radiation. The really good ones will block 97, 98, 99 percent of, of UV radiation. And one of the best examples we have of that here is with a $20 bill. And we might have to turn off the overhead lights to use this UV lamp. Okay. What we have here is we have a piece of acrylic that uh, might block 60% of the UV. We have the $20 bill in the middle exposed, and we have a piece of Optium Museum acrylic, mm -hmm. which will block 98, 99% of the ultraviolet radiation. If right. I put this UV lamp here, perhaps you can move it toward that strip. There's a strip in the dollar bill yeah. that will fluoresce, mm -hmm. and you tell me what you see. Well, the security strip is definitely fully lit up under the exposed bill, and under the regular acrylic, you can still see the, the security strip, and it's a bit dimmer, but it's, it's still very visible. Um, and under the Optium Museum acrylic, I can't see anything. It's completely not illuminated whatsoever. Great. So mm -hmm. the uh, museum, or the Optium Museum acrylic is doing its job then? Yes, absolutely. You can tell. Great. Thanks, Julie. So what we find is that museums will often look for uh, glazing that reduces reflection, mm -hmm. and they will choose an anti-reflective glazing. Anti-reflective glazings will um, bring down that mirror-like reflection so that the museum visitor will have better visual access to the object. They will see the object instead of seeing a reflection of themselves. And this gold leaf example does a nice job of, of showing that as well. Over here we have a regular uh, acrylic glazing um, that reflects quite a bit of light, and here we have Optium. Right, yeah, you can um, immediately tell the difference between the two. Um, just looking at what you said about having access to the art, I mean, this black looks much l lighter than, than this black, and a lot of times when we frame with Optium, I'll, I'll walk by it in the shop and, and I'll think, you know, it doesn't look like there's glazing there. And this is a great example, having it right next to the acrylic, um, to have the Optium acrylic um, I think acrylic has about an 8% reflection um, of incident light. Right, right. Both um, regular glass and regular acrylic will reflect about 8% of the light, mm -hmm. and optium will reflect 1.5, 1.6% of the light. Wow. And you could, you could tell visually immediately. <laughs>